In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make animated quotes poster in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the quotes here and you can type whatever the quote you want that can be replaced here. And in the background, I have used this uh, shadow effect and then I have used the gradient fill as the slide background. And I made one more. You can see here just only this part only animation I did and the same thing so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill for that let me just right mouse click go to format background and you can see here type i have selected radial direction i have selected this center and i have used three stops here you can see here the color here turquoise color light somewhat dark and more darker here so you get this uh, effect now let me just go to insert shapes select this rounded corners rectangle draw the rectangle depending on the size you want for example let me just make it more bigger and if you want you can make it less curved also and i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes and select this triangle draw this triangle you can see here and then you just rotate it say flip vertical and bring it here you can see here and then you can see the orange point just drag this orange point here you can see here let me just make it more up if you want we can make this also more bigger and then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key and select this shape and under format tab go to merge shape and just say union so you end up getting this shape and then i'm going to make it shape fill no fill and shape outline you can just select white or any other color now you can select this and then you go to uh, fill properties and line and you can add gradient i can use that one but later but let me just make the width maybe i will give 12 you can see here and then go to effects and under 3d rotations preset i'm going to select this one which is perspective left you can see here this is perspective left and then i will go to 3d format and select this one you can see here this is hard edge and width i'm going to make it zero you can see here and the height i can make it maybe say 50 so you can see here we have got this particular shape and then you can go to material and select whatever the best way you want to portray you can see here with the moment i change this one if i make it this one it becomes more white so let me just select this two point and this material also you can just come and select anything so you got this particular design here you can see let me just reduce the size a little bit so you can see uh, our design is ready now it's time to add the shadow effect to give the shadow effect let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to make it let me just go to the effects and then i will just make it no be well you can see here and then i'm going to change the color to black you can see here and if you want you can increase the width i can increase the width and then i'm going to make it more transparent you can see here and bring it here and just send this to back format send to back so you can see here the shadow also has been added let me just select both of these and bring it more up so you can see here the shadow also created now you can see our basic design is ready now it's time to add the code for that go to insert text box and i'm just going to type q u o t code and make it center align i'll make it white make it bold increase the size and you can just see here i've just put it here and if you want a quotation to be added go to insert text box and you can just go to insert again you can see the symbols 
click on the symbols and here in the webdings sorry wingdings you can see here these are there so i can just select this insert select this and insert and close so can you see here by default both the quotations has been added let me just increase the size you can see here duplicate it press ctrl d to duplicate it and from this i'm going to delete this one and i'll just put this here you can see here and from here i'm going to delete this and i'll put it this and this also i can just change the color to white and then you can add the actual coat here so add the coat here go to insert type add your coat here let me just make it center aligned white increase the size and you can just change the as per your requirement now you can see here we have added all the things the only one thing which i want to add some some kind of uh, glittering stars or shining stars for that let me just go to insert shapes and from stars and banners i'm going to select this one which is star four points you can see here let me just make it this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white and go to effects here the soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just put this one here like this you can add how many you want press ctrl d add it here one more ctrl d you can add as many as you want so you can see here the design is ready then you can add simple animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye